All right, I'm back with another video. Again, 2015 six seven Cummins. Um, as you've seen in earlier videos that I had, I installed this Banks uh, four inch ram intake along with the intercooler pipes. Intercooler pipes that you can't see. There you go, there's one you can see. So everything, everything powder coated Chevy orange. Uh, I also, at the time I ordered this Worldly Custom Fab uh, uh, upper radiator hose and then also had it powder coated to Chevy orange. I never got around to putting it on, so today I just went ahead and did it. Uh, in the instructions, they tell you to drain the coolant, which the coolant drain on these four gins are kind of in a pain in the butt spot. You got to take the grill off and then take that plastic right there where my, my index finger is pointing at, and there's a petcock. It's hard to see, but the petcock is down there above the intercooler pipe. So even if you did take the grill off and pulled that cover off and undid the petcock, it's still going to drain all over the intercooler pipe. So instead, I just went ahead and just pulled the clamps off. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to undo this, this clamp. That's a 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter. Here it is right here. 10 millimeters like a support for the radiator hose. It's a 10 millimeter. And then I just went ahead and took it off and put the six, 16 millimeter bolt back in. It goes in something like that. So undo the 10 millimeter, the 16 millimeter. And I just used, uh, and I just used channel locks to undo the clamps. And this is how I did it. It's going to be a mess either way you do it. I just did it that way and then just went ahead and pulled it off. I didn't lose that much coolant. I didn't have to add too much back in. But of course, I tried to put cardboard on the ground to kind of soak up, mo or soak up most of the mess. But either way, you can do it this way like I did, just pull the hose off and work fast. Or uh, drain the entire radiator as per the instructions. But like I said, you have to take the grill off and then come in through there and get that pickhawk. But it's still gonna, anything on these Dodges you drain, or these Rams, same way with the oil filter and shit, it just, or everything drains on top of something else and it just goes everywhere. So the way I found out is just, just go for it, send it, pull that upper radiator hose off real quick and then just work fast. These clamps are uh, 12 millimeters. And I just use my walkie impact and snug them up good and tight. You can use grease to help lube up the hose and the pipe and help it slide on a little easier. But just all the tools you're gonna need is a 10, 10 millimeter, like I said earlier, 12 millimeter for the new clamps, and that's 16 for that one if you wanna take the bracket off, which is what I'm gonna do. I took the bracket off and a pair of channel locks. It is gonna make a mess. And then just Top off your coolant when you're done. Um, other than that, it looks cool. That's just about all it's, it really is. I mean, I guess you don't have to worry about the hose collapsing or this and that, but all it is is a aesthetic looking thing. I know it was well over a hundred bucks. I can't remember exactly what it was. I mean, I bought the stuff over a year ago, but just trying to keep the theme of the, the Chevy Orange stuff on this truck. Uh, next thing I want to do is probably do the fuel filter delete and then I got an Air Dog 165 and a bean sump that I'm going to put on this thing hopefully tomorrow I did do the cat filter the cat filter what you might call it I there to show you it's pain the butt to see see it from back here I just cut the grass I don't want to crawl over the ground yeah 
Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it. Did the cap filter. And just swapped it with a ball one. So then I'll delete the I'll delete the fuel filter on the on the engine. And then we'll install the bean sump and air dog 165. And later video, probably tomorrow, but I don't know when I'll get a video out for it. I probably won't do a step-by-step -step thing just because I don't have enough patience as it is right now. I don't really feel like working on this stuff, but uh, I've been averaging 50 to 55, 60 hours a week. And I just, just now burning my last week of vacation. So trying to get some stuff done. I still got to work on the GTI. I got the turbo out. I just got to put the KO4 back in. It's just, like I said, finding time when I feel like doing it. But yeah, this is just an update video on installing the Whirly Custom Fab uh, up radiator hose on a 4th Gen Cummins. But uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, if you got any questions, comment. I'll try to help you answer coolant you need. That's the type of coolant you need for this truck. But yeah, I think that's it. Alright, y'all. I'll talk to you later.